So I'm not saying you have to agree with Aristotle. Uh, you, you could disagree with them, right? That's up, that's up to you. <laughs> that's your responsibility. It's your burden, not mine. Uh, but what does it mean to disagree with Aristotle here? Well, there's three possibilities. Either that happiness is not the chief good, that what, happiness isn't a good at all, or that what, um, you know, maybe reason isn't the, uh, you know, this chief excellence, right? So Aristotle says that reason, the, you know, the intellect, is the excellence. This is what you really, really need to uh, have everything else. Okay. So what about, let's see, maybe, uh, maybe happiness isn't the chief good. Okay, so what this means then is that uh, happiness, this, this well-being, this good living, is an instrumental good. It's good for something else. I guess? But what would that be? <clears throat> I mean, it, it, I don't think it could be something within oneself. It had to be something extrinsic to oneself. So what you're good for is something else. Okay. Another person? The state? <laughs> a cause? An ideal? I mean, these are possibilities. But then all your well-being, all your good living is good for is something else. Hmm. Maybe, um, what? Maybe happiness isn't a good at all. That would seem a little weird. Uh, you know, if it's not a good at all, then there's something out there that's very definitely worth your misery. So then, you know, but the early suggestion is to say that happiness is not a chief good, it's an instrumental good. Your happiness is a good, but it's a good for something else. With this suggestion, your happiness isn't, that well-being, this good living, isn't good for anything, instrumental or independent. I guess? That's kind of tough too, but you know, okay. I mean, that's the way you can go. Uh, maybe it's that reason is not the excellence. Okay, well, if reason isn't the excellence, then either bodily health, uh, emotional tranquility, uh, or uh, uh, you know, self-discipline are the excellence. It's one of those two. Well, if you know, one of these other things is the chief good. Uh, how is it the chief good? So, you know, think about it, right? So Aristotle is claiming that the intellect is the, is the excellence of a person because the intellect informs everything else. Okay. So, you know, how would you use bodily health if you don't have knowledge of what's healthy? You can't trust the body in this. The body does lots of things that you know, aren't necessarily healthy. Same thing with emotion, same thing with desire. Uh, how can you understand or acquire tranquility when you don't know how to acquire it, right? Emotions do not tranquilize themselves. If you're going to say that the intellect is not the excellence of a person, okay, then somehow one of the other three parts of what you are, you know, acquire the good without the use of the intellect. And even more importantly, you know, well, you know, the intellect is, as I mentioned, is the only part of you that can kind of correct itself. <laughs> only the intellect, intellect can tell you whether the knowledge that you had, it actually isn't knowledge. So the beliefs that you have are untrue, so something like that. Um, health can't tell you whether your beliefs are false. Only the intellect, only reason can do that, you know. So if you're going to say that the intellect is not the excellence of a person, then you've got to be able to explain how any of these other three can acquire their goods without the use of the intellect. You, need, you kind of need the intellect for health, for tranquility, and for discipline. Um, but, uh, you know, you need the intellect for the intellect. So, yeah, I'm not saying you, ha you have to agree with Aristotle, but if you disagree with them, well, you're either going to say happiness is not the chief good, your happiness, your well-being is good for something else, you are now an instrument, your happiness isn't a good at all, your misery is worth something, right? Or, you, you know, if you're not well-being, if you're not living a good life, 
that may or may not be a bad thing. Or how the intellect uh, is not the chief good, how the other goods can do what they need to do without the intellect. Thank you.